Hello, and welcome back to the Stanley Parable. Last time we figured out why the hell we bought it, now we're gonna play it. This time, by following the rules, maybe. Ah, We'll follow them for the most part, I don't know. I said I would follow the rules for my next playthrough, but we'll see. Perhaps there will be some fun and creative areas where I can... Escape the game. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All right, so I'm Stanley now. Uh, I get the input and do the things. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Who farted? That's funny. What a... I just like... I like work, I just hate my boss. Oh, that's kind of a bold mug to have. Be my valentine? I guess they became their valentine. Fu... Does that say... Few. F-U-E. Hmm. I hate Mondays. Me too, buddy. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah. <sighs> Man. Last time, as we all know, I just totally disobeyed the game. This time, I guess I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do it. Ah, it feels weird. Following orders. Doing the right thing. Who am I? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Whiteboard manager. So, RIP friends. Aw. But I am just picturing a manager whose entire purpose in this office is to get information and put it on this whiteboard. Which, let's see what's on here. Weekly targets, admin, IT department, weekly review, marketing Monday, Group 41X. Oh, these are kind of cryptic. Most of these look pretty normal, but these look very cryptic. Weird things start going on at, uh, oh, group, okay, I understand. It's like the employees 401, probably 400 through 409. Ah, uh, figuring it out is kind of boring. Whatever.
what an uh, uninspired agenda. Complete today's unfinished agenda items. Right next to these agenda reflect. Employee 417, 405, 491, 416, 431. Oh, and Jim. What makes Jim so special that he gets a name? Tips for not getting fired. Talk less. Do unbelievably amazing work. Oh, no. I don't know how to not get fired. Let it ball up inside you. Take it out passive-aggressively. Resent coworker for not supporting you more. Using slides to assure... <laughs> That's hilarious. Everyone is unique. You most of all. Man, this just makes me want to not do orders. I want to disobey. Number of slides on this side. Uh, what? I, I don't under... That... Rate at which charts at the same side depict the same information. Oh my gosh. These are hilarious, but they also hurt my head. Rate of increase in graphs per slide. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, somebody got trapped inside the PowerPoint. That's, that's like hilarious. They broke. Oh, okay. Oh. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, hmm. but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Oh, I'm breaking the rules already. I don't remember what I was supposed to do. Can I go into that other room? It's the first... Oh, nope, that's the room I just came out of. It's the first time I've been able to do anything, though. Open a door. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom <sighs> No reason to still be Fine. Clean. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked <clears throat> upstairs to his boss's office. Ah, oh, man. I have... I have choices I can make. Do I want to just keep following like a sheep every step of the way for the whole duration of the game? No. I can't. I want to see, oh, that's, that's somewhat foreboding. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he <laughs> Why did doors close automatically behind him when- Oh, oh gosh. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply... Oh! No, oh. Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Oh. He yelled. This is all a dream. There we go. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Hmm. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently oh. float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. Oh, and it too what? It was so much fun. Oh my gosh. And Stanley marveled that he had still woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? Okay. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. 
Why is there a voice in my oh, head shit. dictating everything oh, God. I'm doing? Oh God! We can actually hear him. Now the voice was described uh, as being considered by oh, God. who found it particularly. What's going on? I'm dreaming uh, of a voice describing me, uh, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. Uh, this thoughts. is a freaking me. Thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice was oh, all dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply uh, deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility uh, for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his God. life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock uh, to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain beyond a doubt that this was in fact a dream. Uh, Did the voice not see him oh float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely. Ah! Uh, he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Ah! No! Ah! Stanley began screaming. <laughs> Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Can oh. You just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Uh, and everything went black. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. What's... This is the story of a woman named... Whoa! Anna. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead oh on the side. And although no, she was soon Stanley. to go call for an ambulance, for just a uh. few brief moments, she considered the strange man. What? He was obviously crazy. This much How? Knew. He was Everyone dead. knows what crazy people look like. And in that That's moment, so judgmental. She to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Uh -oh. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what uh, is and what isn't. That's... It was comforting uh, to feel this. And in a certain way, seeing this man uh, was a But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled oh for the day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her mm. career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. That's not suspicious at all. Uh... Is that... What's happening? What's gonna happen now? Do I play as her next? Oh my god! Uh... Wait, what? I don't know what's happening. Am I Stanley or am I her? All of his co-workers were uh, gone. What could what? it mean? Stanley decided what? to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed Okay, it. so it looks like I found one of the endings for the game. I thought we were going to go play as that lady, but I guess not. Ah, uh, wow. What a mind fuck. Dear God. <laughs> I am shooketh. I am completely shook it. Uh, yeah, so that's, oof, that is what it is. That was what it was. I think I'm going to call this a good place to stop this recording. And we'll pick up again, literally from the same spot in a few minutes. 
and we'll see what happens. We'll see what playing the game from this point forward is like. So, yeah. Have a good time of day.